And we are back for more Dragon Ball dialogue. Let's do it. Dragon Ball dialogue. Mm. Not fighters. Not they fighters. Should've, they should have renamed the game. Dragon Ball visual novel. <laughs> do you think no. they actually have that genre under under Steam? Visual novel. Just visual novel instead yeah. of fighting game. <laughs> Separated into its own favorite category. Yeah. Why is there grass only Bulma's head and nowhere else on that fucking hill? That is weird. Uh, it's like the little little things that you just notice. You're like, why did they do it that way? It doesn't match anything else. Hmm. Mm. Not actually bring it up. Hmm. So it's basically a, a what's the drug that fucking suppresses all your mood and shit like that? It just makes you, <laughs> God damn it, Goku. <laughs> it just makes you really kind of like mellowed the fuck out. I can't remember what the hell it is. Uh, pot. Oh, Jesus Christ, Sam, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I said pill, medicine, oh, pill. drug. No. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> you gotta shoot up a reefer. You gotta, you gotta snort some, snort some, some bud. I mean, they come in edibles, so. Mm. Shooting up reefer is is edible? No, I thought you, I was referring to the thing you talked about before. That's Metal not medicine. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess it could be. It's just the people that have PTSD, it's medicine. Oh God, you know what else is? A what? nice, nice drink of cold water, just like I need right fucking now. <laughs> Jesus. Is there? Did they just forget to put music in this, or what is going on? I don't know. So we can't link with these people, it seems like, because they suppress the waves. Getting real bored, 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 bored. How much longer till we get to fight? Well, we just gotta happen to listen to all their fucking stupid ass dialogue. Yeah, you can't Why? do shit, Frieza. Yeah, there's a soul inside of you. I wonder how this is gonna go. Yeah, this is. She's gonna. I feel bad for her. Who, Frieza? No, I feel bad for Bulma. <laughs> no, I was joking. So, they're just gonna freeze her. Or him. God damn it. Every time. Yes, exactly. Frieza. Except it wasn't her, it was Goku. Goku's the one who said it and got it wrong. Why would you be mad at Bulma? Bulma already said, I don't think you understood what I was saying. Why would I be afraid of Frieza? There's nothing Frieza can do to me. He can't blow up my soul. I'm inside of... Frieza well, right not now. Not you, but Bulma and them. Yeah, but I can stop Frieza because I'm the one that gives Frieza power. Stopped him from doing something bad again? Oh, Frieza's just stuck in place. Can't yeah. even move. Yeah. Save on the animation budget. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Frieza. Not gonna let you blow up Bulma. <laughs> That's how you spell it, I guess. G G capitals and lowercase G. Hmm. You can't do shit to me. What do I care what your wrath is? You're in another dimension, bitch. You ain't got uh, nothing on me. You're stuck in there. Well, in this yeah. weird cloud fucking Photoshop area. There literally is only two fucking layers to that background. Oh, yeah. It was just the one that was scrolling backwards and then the stupid clouds that moved up. Yeah. Ah. They really love maggot in this game, don't they? They just keep calling everyone a maggot. Well, they can't use the F version of it either, so yes, they just gotta use the M version. What does that have to do with m what? <laughs> Nothing. It's just the only other word I could relate to that word. Not bug or vermin or no. insect or anything no. else. I deal with middle schoolers all day. Unfortunately, that word is on the like tip of their tongues a lot. It doesn't have to be on yours, Jesus, man. Yeah, but it's in the back of my head because of those morons. <laughs> oh my days. god. Goku's like, hey, 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 hey. I mean, I tell them to stop when they use them. Like, guys, come on, stop. Do something. Do something else. Use more productive words. Use more descriptive words. Use more descriptive words than that. Jeez, are you are you telling them to be worse or no. better? Tell them to be more descriptive with their words. In other words, find a better way to go about it than calling someone the f word. <laughs> find some way to be like, hey man, that wasn't cool what you just did to me. Don't do that next time. I like my artwork. They'd rather you not rip it up, throw it in the garbage can, and call me an f word. I don't think I'm 100% understanding the situation, so let's move on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, middle schoolers. So I don't. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned here because now we're back in the cave system and fighting clones. Why? We were just in the ship. 
Oh, where did this come? Whoa, double destructos. Whoa! Where did that come from? Wait. Was that Frieza? Wait. I don't understand what happened. That was Frieza that cast that, but it came back and hit him. Wait, what just happened? Um. Is that a move Nappa has? I don't know. It looked like it looked like Frieza chopped the dual destructos, and then they came back and hit him. Gotcha. <laughs> he only bounced his little tippy toes off the top of that ball. They're the same level as you, so it should be a lot easier compared to the last battle, which is everybody's like two or three levels above you. Yeah. Holy like crap. A little bit easier. Boop. Come How on, Yamcha. How did get in this cave, though? I don't know. Wolf Fang fist time, apparently, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you go back to the main menu? I wasn't really paying that much attention. Yes, we did go back to the main menu. So the little hub menu where you get to yes. choose your next battle? Oh, okay. I guess I was just thrown off a little bit because we didn't have 10 minutes of fucking dialogue. In I know. Front of it. It's like I skipped a bunch because I was going, wow, our viewers don't want to see this. He only skipped like eight frames. Yeah. You don't know how many people that I've already talked to and they were like, yeah, um, I'm not watching your Dragon Ball series because it is way too fucking slow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. How do you think we feel trying to fill in the empty space of this vacuum of dialogue? <laughs> God. Yeah, it's very um, painful it's very trying to painful. fucking talk over the story of a fighting game. Yes. Like, at least it was like, we didn't know that's how it was going to be the entire way. And for the most part, for it got Marvel vs. Capcom. It got a bit better, but yeah, this has very long winded parts where there's just nothing to do. Nothing really happening. Nothing really happening. Well, like, they take forever to describe it. I guess that's Dragon Ball Z fashion. It takes six episodes to get fucking nothing done. I mean, if I was playing on my own, not a big deal, but for viewers, I can understand why it's like, mmm, skip on the, skip we, the video. We skipped Shadow of the Colossus for this game. <laughs> hey, man, I'm liking this game, though. <laughs> well, so, so thank God that you are. Because that's what matters. Exactly. It's totally <laughs> oh. what matters. Yeah, we'll be finished this soon enough. We're not even like halfway done. We're not even done with the fucking villain I mean, arc. We can start skipping the cutscenes if we want. I'm not that interested in where the story's going. I don't I don't know. I mean, some of it's cool. It breaks up some of the fighting. I mean, because in essence, you're just fighting clones. Like, there's no challenge to it. Yeah, a little bit. The story is only the story, and the story is not... I mean, the game is only the story, and the story is not that good. Because none of these fights are challenging. There's little clones. Little piddly fucking clones. But there's no I uniqueness to any of the battles. There's no, like, environmental impacts. There's, uh, like, exclusive finish, or what are they called? Flashy finishes, or... Flashy finishes. Well, we're almost done destructive with the... Destructive finish. We're almost done with is. the villain arc, and then I think the last arc is not as long. I mean, we'll find out. I mean, I just want some fill-in here. It seems like we're just picking shit up. And I'm kind of confused again, because I thought this was all in one timeline. I thought it but was, But now, too. this is really throwing me off, because... Wait, why are we back on the island where 21 and 18 were found? Yeah, I'm... We're exactly in the same part of the island where 21 and 18 were found. Why is Yamcha here? I guess it is a split timeline. It's gotta be. Because this shit didn't happen in the first one. No, none of this makes sense. All of this is super confusing. Oh god, not clones. More clones! Imagine. I'd be more surprised if Bigfoot came out of the fucking jungle. <laughs> if this lines up in the timeline, I don't know how. Am I allowed to pick different characters now too? Can I pick Goku in them again? To mix it up? Oh, I didn't think about that. It is the villain arc though, so probably not. Probably not, but now I'm rescuing Yamcha <clears throat> as a teammate. That means I'm gonna be able to unlock Are you though, or is it just going through the storyline? I don't know if it's actually having you, allowing you to pick him. I mean, that's what it did in the hero arc, but maybe they slightly changed it. I don't, I don't like games where they like, oh, let's split the game into three sections or four sections and just have you do the same thing, but with different characters. None of it feels unique. It feels like they built one game and then split it up and then just did Mad Lib with the character parts. I mean, the, the fights have been getting harder, so they're not as I easy. I mean, yeah, I but you're just fighting clones. I mean, you're still able to like learn new techniques and stuff, so it's def on the fighting side, there is some stuff that's going on that's a bit more um, challenging. Do, when does Hit and, and Goku Black come in and like mm. all of them? Because we've been fighting these same people for all of the uh, hero arc. And now we're doing it all the same people through the villain arc. Like, isn't there like ten characters we haven't seen yet? Yeah, there's a bunch of characters we haven't seen yet. Do they do they not come up in the story mode? I don't know. Those are questions I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I hope they come up in the third arc, and I hope the third arc is crazy different for the final oh, arc, technically. Oh, blah. You're getting your ass kicked. 
I'm gonna have to look back in editing and see where those two destructor discs came from because I'm very yeah, I, confused. I, I, I they no went, idea. hit you, and then went through you, and like you ricocheted them back into into Frieza, and it just ended his ass. Yeah, I know um, one of our friends who was saying like, I can't watch the DBZ one. The main reason he didn't want to watch is one because it's super slow, but two, his roommate is playing it like crazy, so he sees it all day, every day. I mean. Yeah, I guess so, because his ESPS4 is in his living room, so yeah, yeah I guess he so see it every day. When he's like, oh, yeah, I don't really want to watch it, like, his main reason is, like, his roommate's playing it constantly. Yeah. So, well, he was super excited when he found out we were playing it, and he was yeah. like, oh, story mode, don't get it for PS4, do it for, or don't get it for PC, get it on PS4, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I was like, you know, I don't think you understand the channel, man. <laughs> it's not, it's not how we're it We're not works. doing it to be hyper-competitive. No. I mean, like, you are. Nice. But, yeah, I... I don't have the time, like his roommate, to constantly just play this game all the time. I just, I can't even find the free time. I'd love to get really good at a fighting game, but other games come out and I'll never be the top guy. I'll never be super great at it. If I can do some combos and I can figure some things, I'm like, yeah! I feel like I understand this game. So how does this game rank for you compared to the other games that came out in the last year for fighting games? Because we've actually covered Injustice, we've been covered, or we've covered uh, Marvelous Capcom Infinite. Infinite. Did we? <laughs> did we cover anything else? <laughs> See, trash. See, you doesn't have to call him a maggot. He freaking killed you so easily. What are you bragging about? <laughs> you ain't got nothing on him. <laughs> Yeah, you got killed by one Cyberman. Did, did you have a favorite though? Uh, I'm trying to think what would be my favorite. I think in terms of story mode, Injustice is definitely the cream of the crop. Yeah, um, I'd say so. Which is funny because DC can sell a good story in a fighting game but can't do it over a fucking movie. Oh, burn! Who? Oh, DC, I thought you said DBZ. I'm like, no, DC, no, DBZ not DBZ. DBZ has some good movies though. <laughs> Yeah. DC, not DBZ or MVCI. Yeah, DC's a, DC's a huge disappointment in the movies. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. It, it hurts Steven. I haven't even about. seen them, which, I mean, obviously takes some weight from my opinion, but. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think I exactly need to. I think it's pretty much unanimous that, like, Most they could be doing like a lot DC better. Movie. Yeah, DC movies are just kind of garbage. Um, in terms of fighting game engine, I think Marvel's Capcom Infinite might be my favorite. Really? Yeah. I really like the way that game plays. I. Injustice is fine. It's not bad. Oh, it said Yamcha's Yamcha available for your team now. Oh, so I can use Krillin and Yamcha. Yeah, oh, but Krillin's Krillin level six. Krillin and Yamcha's and Yamcha. level thirteen. But I so like you would never, Krillin. you would never use them though, because that's the levels you left them at in the hero arc. Yeah, but change right? up, man. Wait, is that the levels you left them at in the hero arc? Probably. Wouldn't that mean this is a single timeline? Who's over here? Who do I unlock? Tien is now playable. Should don't I go you just want to do TN? boss battle? Yeah, I can just go do boss battle. I don't have to go yeah. TN. Fuck TN. Here we go. Why make this fucking torture? But longer? what about my volleyball attack? What volleyball attack does TN have? He has his te patent technique. Volleyball, where he like pushes you up, uh, like hits you down. Doesn't he have the triangle move? Yeah. Isn't that his patented attack? Um, I've yeah. never heard of I've never heard him go, a lot of volleyball! You can shoot people down. I do love Yamcha's style. Yeah. Just the very aggressive, you know, very physical, less energy-based attacking. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm like, he's kind of like uh, Wolverine from X-Men. I really like the yeah, fighting game yeah, yeah. system for this game too, don't get me wrong. What would you change on it that you would have back in Marvel vs. Capcom then? I don't, I don't understand um, the fighting game systems as well as somebody like. I don't think that there's anything to change. I like how this fills in the need for the three fighter. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of the stuff that this game does, but um, Marvel's Capcom 2 was a throwback to Marvel's Capcom 1 and some of the older fighting 2v2 games. Uh -huh. So it was just kind of cool. Arcade games, right? Yeah, just kind of going back to the original Marvel's Capcom style. So it was fun to do play a game like that again. Wait, but we, I was talking about Marvel's Capcom 3. Isn't that what Infinite is? Yeah, uh, no. Marvel's Capcom 3 was the game before Infinite. Infinite is the fourth okay, game. Okay, fourth the one then. Okay. So this game is a lot like Marvel's Capcom 3 because it's a 3v3 fighter and like uh, Marvel's Capcom 2, which is also a 3v3 fighter. How does it change it up though? Isn't there like a limit on how many people you can have in at a time or some shit? Um, yeah, but the switching is a lot uh, quicker. You can just switch out whenever you want in Marvel. That's what I thought. And this one, you can only do one at a time yeah. during certain points. Yeah, you can only switch out so often in this game. Oh, is it have to do? It has to do with gauges. Yeah, or something then. 
or is it just a timer? Because Marvelous Capcom, you just press a button, right? Yes, you just press. Oh no, you press two buttons, I believe, to bring out the Marvelous Capcom. Um. It's hard to tell because all of your buttons are gray. <laughs> the characters in Marvel's Capcom play, each one plays far differently than the other one. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of characters in this, they feel a little samey, but not in a bad way. Eventually, when you kind of get in depth with them, they feel different. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the characters do feel a little bit because this game has auto combos. Like X and Y give you a string of auto combos. And they're not bad, they allow it to be more accessible of a game. And allows you to kind of like play it a little bit different than you would Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't this want to is... be a clone either, so you want to have it to have that separation too. I like this game a lot as well. I like all three of them. I've always had trouble playing the Mortal Kombat style games. They've I've never really loved the way that they play. I have liked Injustice more than Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. because it has more of a Street Fighter command style to it. But there's a couple things with that system that just feel mm, that don't really jive with me. Though they have added El Hellboy and the Ninja Turtles to that game, I saw the Ninja which Turtles. makes me want to go back. But the problem with fighting games is once you fall you off, it's hard, you don't, it's hard to get back into it because then the only people that are playing it, the guys that have just been playing it all this time. So you try to get back into online and you go, uh, I mean, I Do they not have hours. Tears? They do, but so many people smurf in that game. Oh, that yeah, smurfs aren't fun. Smurfs are no. I found a smurf the other day in this where he's just kicking my butt. I'm like, how are you in the same tier as me? There's, there's no way. Or how are you still in tier 13? That shouldn't be a thing. You should be up in like tier six, tier seven. But because not enough people are playing Marvel's Capcom Infinite, that happens there. And oh, I could see. Same then. Yeah, thing. Yeah. If, if the wait times are super high for your yeah. high tier, then. I would think then maybe like they would just eliminate a couple tiers to have more people inside of those tier right. zones or have overlap. Say like the nice thing about this game that I've seen so far though is for the online version you always get points up when you fight, so your rank keeps on oh, going that's up cool. as you're playing, and you can get stronger shit. And yeah, you get more points. For instance, if I lose a match, I'll get 70, whereas the winner will get 700. So they climb up really fast to the point where. Hey, eventually they are gonna outrank you. They're gonna get to the point where like you're gonna stay kind of in your pool. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mind if I lose in a fighting game online. I could lose 20 matches, but as long as I'm keeping it close, mm -hmm. and as long as it feels fair, and it, it still someone, feels and fine. Skill to level, it still feels fun. I still feel like I'm learning. I feel yeah, as if I'm sense. putting up a good fight. But when I'm just getting trounced, I go. Okay, this isn't fun. I want to at least be competitive. If I'm at least competitive, yeah, and that holding makes sense. my own, taking maybe a character or two, and I'm like, yeah, you won, but I fucking got you. You don't lose it. There. You don't. You don't gain anything if you lose so hard that yes. the match is over before you can fucking do anything other than spawn. <laughs> I had a couple of matches against Goku Black where he just knew his shit, and I wasn't mad at him. But I was like, man, I really wish. I was in another, you were in another tier because it's not really helping me fighting you because once you got me on that one hit, mm -hmm. you go through that string of combo and I don't know how to get out of it. Part of that is my, as a player, I don't know how to get out of combos. He has to drop it. I mm. think in some games there's a way to get out of a combo other than them just dropping it, but uh, for the most part... You don't think so in this one? I don't know in this one. I haven't found out yet. Nah question for what just happened in that cutscene that seemed like I, I don't know if I've ever realized or not. Eight, uh, 21 told 6, no not 16, 16 is the dude, right? Is yeah. the dude android? Uh, 21 told 16 to go take Frieza, kill Frieza and bring his corpse back so she can eat it. I always thought they had to be eaten alive because that's how she absorbs their power. Now, I thought back to how many times I've seen like 21 or Cell mm -hmm. or somebody absorb something. They've always been alive. Is that is that just a throwaway line that they said, bring back his corpse so I can eat it, just to show like, oh, she wants to absorb Frieza? Or is that Curling just not how it works? Like, can they kill somebody and then absorb their power? It just seemed like they needed to be alive. Like weakened probably, but needed to be alive still to absorb their potential power. Um, say that again. I'm trying to like do the combo. I, I don't. I, maybe it's more for people who are the two people who are watching. Yes. Than anything. Hey, it I is, appreciate those two people because you're allowing me to still play this game. Oh hell yeah, Tarkum. I know you're one of them. Hey baby. <laughs> He's like, I'm glad I'm in France and not in the U.S. with you weirdos. <laughs> 
I mean, that has been one of our things. We've talked about it a bunch, but even if there's not a lot of viewership, even if once we start a game, I know it's always been a big thing for me when Let's Players drop a game, it bothers me. Because I'll be that one person that's like, man, I, I wanted to see this. I wanted to see them finish what they were doing. Oh, block that, Vegeta. Oh, God, he blocked it. <laughs> block that, Vegeta. Nope. <laughs> right in the face. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I get it too, though, but I mean, like... It does make it hard with this game sometimes. This I can game, understand why Pyre people... gets kind of boring too, but... Yeah. I mean, Pyre's at least different to some extent. Although, Pyre still did the same thing that this is doing, where it's like, right. oh, let's let's re uh, design one part of the game and then repeat ad infinium until, you know, we reach a point where we're like, yeah, that's long enough for the game to end, you know? Currently, what we're going through is the final rights for a lot of our people, and they all just seem to be the same shit. Although, I will take it back, some of the, uh, some of them have changed. Some of them yes. are breaking rules and stuff. I do like that, I like Pyre's second half of the game. The second half yeah. of that game is yeah. great. It's it is just too. too bad that the first half, the thing that has made that game more accessible, at least for us, is at least there's been dialogue and interesting character things. Yeah, interesting for the character most part. voices. But it is... It's very hard to get through this game. There's no denying that. Yeah. So, next time, guys. Beep up boop. We went a little too long with that one. Sorry. No, at at, at 18 minutes when he started a fight, I was like, all right, well, we're going to go over. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. That'll, it's, it's fine. Long episodes for this are fine, because then it doesn't take up so much of our schedule. That's true. So, yeah. You're leveling up like a fucking boss. He went from 6 to 10 in two fights. I'm zinging Yamcha. I did some combos with him the other night. Mmm, feeling it.